This is Kanga. We are doing his pet finder and adopt a pet video today. He is finally ready. Kanga was rescued out of a backyard in Kern County. Um, from he was just abandoned there, I guess, and he was really, really neglected. So he's been with us for about six weeks. And he's done a fantastic, speedy job of recovering. We thought we were going to have him for months, but he just got, he got well really quickly. This is my dog, Monkey. He's just here for the video. Kanga's about three pounds right now. He looks like a little shrinky dink, Belgian Malinois, with his black mask and his fawnish tan body. Kanga! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> he's uh, he's got a really nice medium energy level for a, a puppy. He's kind of a little thinker, you know, he just it cruises around the house and he's always kind of looking up at you, seeing what's going on. Um, he's not hyper by any stretch of the imagination. He um, he likes to play, you know, he is a puppy, but he's just, he's just an easy puppy. He likes his toys, but he doesn't really like chew a whole lot. He's a chihuahua. Chihuahuas don't really chew a lot. Not like a, you know, a lab or a German Shepherd would. Get your toy. Get your toy. Get your toy. He gets along with all other dogs, both big and small. He plays with the small dogs. Um, he cuddles with my big dogs. He loves my Rottweiler. It's so funny. He always goes and he sits by him. Even though my Rottweiler totally ignores Kanga. Ready? Ready, Kanga? Get it. Go get it. Um, Kanga loves car rides. He's really, really good in the car. He sits in his little doggy car seat. Silly boy. Silly boy. Um, what else? What else can we tell them, Kinga? Um, he's been for a walk now, about four times. He's just gotten his last vaccination, so we're just starting to be able to go out in public. Um, he did really, really good. He's never, obviously never been walked before on a halter and he just trots along and he had the best time and and he, he picked up on it really good. Kanga! The best thing about Kanga that I love, he's always been like this, when you pick him up, he's just kind of, um, he just melts right into your, your arms and he's real comfortable and he's, he just, you can just carry him all day long. And he's already the pro at going in little doggy purses. He's been to Home Depot and he actually even went to a high school with me and we um, talked with all the students and Kanga was there representing our rescue and he met everybody and he was just the best boy. He just sat there really quiet while I talked. You're not really hungry anymore, are you? We're going to give it to Monkey then. I think it might be nap time for Kanga. Um, show him your cute little short body. He's probably going to be around, um, I would say maybe six pounds full grown. Maybe seven. You don't know. He's going to be little though. Um, he, he doesn't really, he's not a real vocal dog. He, um, I mean, I have heard him bark, but never just, he mostly barks like <clears throat> if you put him away and he wants to come out, he'll do a little bark, but he, but other than that, he doesn't really, doesn't really bark. Um, he's also good when you have to leave him by, by himself. 
you know, we do that. We we have a lot of dogs over here and our dogs are almost never alone because even when I'm not here, there's other dogs. So I am purposely put my fosters in a room by themselves when I have to go a lot because, um, ah, don't chew the blanket. I'm here telling them that you don't chew and you're chewing the blanket. Ah, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I am purposely put them by themselves because if they're, if they go to homes where they're the only dog, then, you know, obviously there are times that they're going to be by themselves. So I want my dogs to be okay with that and know that, you know, it's okay to be alone and that their human is going to come back. So Kanga's actually really good at that. Um, he's working on his housebreaking. We're not there yet. He does, he, he will use a pee pad a piddle pad, and he does go outside. He knows exactly what to do when we go out in the morning. But if the door is shut, he'll just go in the garage. So he's not at that point where he's going to, you know, go find a, a piddle pad somewhere in the house, or he's not going to come and tell you to open the door. He's just going to go. You know, he's just, he's a puppy. So, you know, he's, he'll, he'll get past that. Kinga. Kinga. He's always got this poker face on it, too. Huh, oh, you always got the poker face. You just got the poker face. Nobody knows what you're thinking. Come here. Uh -uh, get your toy. Get your toy. But anyways, this is Kanga. Um, he's ready for adoption. He's three and a half, four months. He's getting neutered next week. And when I got him, he had no hair. He was extremely neglected. And he still doesn't have hair in the very back of his legs. Right here, I don't know if you can see it on the video. But it's still, I don't know if it's ever going to grow in. You know, it might never grow in. So rather than waiting forever for that to grow in, we just decided to put him up for adoption with maybe no hair that's going to be on his back legs. But, you know, who really needs hair on their back legs anyways, right? <laughs> okay, well this is Kanga. Bye Kanga!